you. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Happy, nice to see happy you. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen you since the beginning exactly. of the year. How was Christmas? Uh, yeah, can't Easter remember. And everything. It's been a weird year, but yeah. it's good to see you. It feels Thank a little you. more normal now. Steve? Well, all right. Great, great to see you into the third same, round. Same, same, yeah. Thank For the 16th time, uh, you've got two wins already. How would you characterize your level right now? I'm very happy. Uh, I think the first round was uh, on the easier side. I didn't think Istamin had enough to to worry me there. And with my experience and ability to hit drop shots and angles and stuff like that, I was able to to understand what I needed to do. And today was different. You know, uh, Marin, we know, uh, has got the game. He's got the big game. And you just don't know how long is he able to maintain that? How long am I able to maintain my level? So I think it was a really interesting even the first set, but especially the second and third set. Um, and I feel like it gave me a lot of information. Uh, it was uh, very good from that end. And I, I, feel, I feel like I surprised myself a little bit. I, I didn't expect myself to play that well or to have the energy left at the end like this and being able to keep on serving so consistently at the end was, was great. And especially breaker third set is a, it's a big moment, you know, and I haven't been in those forever. So it was, uh, was, was nice to be in those moments again. I have to be in those moments. You talk about the information you're gleaning. Obviously, we're all interested in, in how your movement feels. You had not one, but two knee surgeries last year. We didn't get a chance to see you on the restart for quite some time. The two players you played, they play very different styles. You had a lot more time in your first match to move and operate. It was a lot of reactive movement yep. today. That's different. How did your legs respond? How did your body feel? What, what did you glean from those matches? Yeah, like you said, I think the, in the first match when you're in control and you're dictating play, well, you're not moving that much, nearly that much, right? But then the moment you play against somebody who is able to spin you off the court or hit big like Marin does and you have to start picking sides uh, or big servers, I think actually also do that to you. You know, they hit a big serve, you just get it back and then you got to dig like crazy to get back into the point. Um, this is what I need right now. And it was, uh, for me, I, actually, I think I felt really good on the court. For me, it will be interesting to see how do I feel tomorrow because clearly the it's going to be feel very different from uh, Istamin two days off to Chilich one day off, you know, so that will be a good test for me. And then my next round opponent is a lefty. So uh, in Kupfer, I think it's going to be, again, uh, really uh, a nice change up for me. I think uh, uh, that's exactly what I need again. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, I mean, I feel like Paris is playing fast. I don't know if you were seeing that from the outside as well. Um, so with Cilic, it was hard to sometimes to play too much tactics. You just had to hold against it. I tried to go back, you know, uh, and do a little bit of that. And I feel like he didn't like that. Um, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm very happy how I'm feeling. And I'm also confident that tomorrow I'll be fine somehow. That's fantastic. We got Rafa Nadal coming up top of the hour, the night session here, Philippe Chatrier. Uh, Roger, you talk about feeling good, feel, the feeling the movement. We saw that you retweeted what Tennis Channel put out. Yeah. It was the video Very nice. all, well <laughs> all on your footwork. And, and what did you say about it? Something about the clouds and the sand? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, um we rarely see those shots, right, uh, of uh, of a tennis player um, because usually it's always the whole body and they talk about what he does with the hand and, you know, uh, and yes, you talk about movement, but not like in detail like this. So that's why also I thought it'd be nice to retweet. Um, I even mentioned to my kids is when I tell them in tennis about footwork, I tell them, look how much I move my feet for one shot or for one point, you know, and I think maybe it's really interesting for, for junior kids as, a, as well to see what what goes into it and even though it looks all relaxed at the top there's a lot of work going on at the bottom you know and I think that's why uh, that video really was uh, was really interesting for me plus um, I haven't played in a long time I'm almost 40 years old two knee surgeries and I'm able to do this and new partner in my shoes with on so that was interesting as well for them I think so it was just a, a beautiful video so well done and thank you <laughs> you came into this tournament downplaying your chances saying that anyone who thinks that I'm gonna win this tournament they're wrong and but you were talking about how you're focused on getting ready for the grass court season and that's how you're focused having played so well the first two rounds do you change your outlook here where are you as far as looking forward to the grass court season all of that 
Yeah, it's definitely in the back of my mind, you know. I'd be lying if I'd say, like, it's all Paris and nothing after that, you know. This is, in some ways, still, I don't like to say that, my preparation in coming back, my season really, in my mind, starts when the grass court season comes around. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, sitting here in Paris looking at the Chatrier <laughs> court, but this is how it is a little bit. And I still do believe uh, there's no way uh, I gonna, I'm going to go really, really super deep here or go past the Novak section and all that stuff anyhow. And I got my work cut out in the next round and so forth. So I'm really, really focused on just my next round. Um, I mean, the first round, I didn't surprise myself per se, but now in the second round, I did. Now, can I keep it up and how do, will the body react? We'll see. The mind is getting stronger. I can feel it. You know, I have more clarity. I have uh, more confidence growing uh, in me. I, I know now where to go and where not to go because it's crazy how quickly you lose all of that. Um, you know, how to play defense, how to play offense. And then sometimes taking the wrong decisions on serves cost you a break. And then you got to go explain yourself how do you get broken. You're like, well, I just messed up. You know, I had the wrong idea in the wrong moment. And that's where I, I think this last match uh, was chill. It really gives me a, a lot of good information moving forward. Roger, nothing surprises us when it comes to you, but it, it, maybe you can continue to surprise yourself. Hope so. We're really looking forward to the return of the Labor Cup in Boston yeah. this September. What can we expect? It's going to be on Tennis Channel. Well, <laughs> we, I heard it's going to be 100% fans. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to play with a mask on, or what's the deal here? <laughs> that was my first thought as we've been living the mask life and everything's so insane right now with the pandemic, you know. But uh, no, I'm, I mean, I, I can't wait uh, for the Labor Cup to come back around. Um, obviously, last year we had to skip a year. Um, the last one was in Geneva, I believe, mm -hmm. and that one was epic, you know, playing on home soil and the crowds couldn't have been better. It was was a, a beautiful venue with um, a great matches as well. It went down to the wire again and same thing already in Prague and also in Chicago when we played. It was, was beautiful. So I hope we're going to have a really strong team again. Um, I hope that I mean, people are going to come out and have a great time. Uh, I can't wait to play in Boston. I've never been to the city, actually, myself. Uh, so uh, I know it's a huge uh, sports city with everything, baseball, hockey, yeah. basketball, you name it, they have it all. So uh, I can't wait to go there and, and see the, the Boston crowd. So playing off of that, as you look ahead at your schedule and also look ahead, of, you're now playing in the bubble. You missed a lot of yeah. the bubble last year. First of all, <laughs> does that impact your decision as to where to play, how severe the bubbles are? If your family yep. can come and what do you anticipate your schedule will be assuming you stay healthy yeah it's a great question and uh, look I'm always with my family as you know um, my, my four kids and Mirka have always traveled with me all around the world for me it's not a problem to come to Paris and, and do it for you know two weeks and just be hotel club you can go for an hour walk, but I'm, I'm not really taking advantage of it anyways. Um, but having the four kids in the bubbles is not going to work out for me, you know. So we have this situation here. We're going to have it again in uh, Wimbledon and then maybe also at the Olympics. And when you bundle that all together, I don't even want to think about it, you know. So my first um, thought is with Mirka, okay, we'll get through Wimbledon. We'll see how that feels and see how that goes. Um, and we go from there, really, uh, because that was our initial goal, is to get back in shape for the grass court season, Wimbledon in particular. Um, but so far, so good. Everything's okay at home, from what I'm hearing with Mirka. She's got <laughs> things under control. The kids are not completely misbehaved yet, you know. Uh, I'm not worried here. Uh, but it's true, it's a completely different world. Uh, when I played in Doha, actually the bubble was somewhat okay um, for the players, but it is so different. Uh, I don't know, even know where to start. Um, and I hope we can back. I mean, the ATP tour, at least, like in Geneva, I could stay with the family. But there was just a lot of testing going on on site, which I'm all for it. Uh, but kind of give us our life back so we can bring the family, especially me with four children. I cannot keep them in, in one room for three weeks, you know. It's just not going to work. Uh, so we'll see how it's going to go. But uh, I'll, I'll see them definitely next week or the week after here in Halle. Uh, I, I could bring them there, I believe. I have to check with Germany what the situation is. And then obviously Wimbledon comes around. So at the moment we're in a tunnel, in a bubble, or we're doing the whole thing all together. It's all good. W one day at a time, Roger, one That's match it. at a That's time. It. And we appreciate so much you taking some time to join us here on our desk. Congratulations once again on the win today and we wish you the best of luck going forward. Got it, thank you very much guys, thank you.